All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. So one of the things that I've been asked a lot is, which hook do I use when I'm fishing for catfish? Um, it's a very common question that I get, and so today I decided I'm going to make a video about which hook that I use when I fish for catfish. So the truth be told, I use a variety of hooks when I'm fishing for catfish. There's not one particular hook that I use when I'm fishing for catfish. If you open up my tackle box, you're going to find uh, several hooks, and it depends on what what kind of catfish I'm fishing for, the size of the catfish, where I'm fishing, uh, etc. So let's go ahead and go through and and talk about the hooks. So the first hook that I use is this eagle claw, uh, snail hooks, the number eight, and I, I like the red. I'll put pictures back here so you can see. But uh, the reason I use these hooks, you'll find these in my tackle box, and the main reason that I use these are to catch bluegill. Because I use bluegill when I'm fishing for large flatheads or large blues. Um, but depending on where I'm fishing, I know that it's possible to catch uh, to catch a catfish while I'm fishing for these blue for these uh, bluegill. Um, I've shown you guys how I how I do the bluegill fishing, and I'm jigging the rocks. And depending depending on the time of year. Um, I'm very likely to drop a half a piece of night crawler on one of these number eight hooks trying to catch bluegill and I'll, I'll set into a five pound or even a 15 pound channel cat. So, uh, so what I like to do is I'll I'll cut off the I'll cut off the tail line and I'll I'll attach my braid line directly to the hook and it works quite well. A lot of times, those bluegill they'll they'll pull the line in between the rocks, and if you've got a good strong braid on there, you can you can just yank that hook out of there and bend it back to shape. Keep right on fishing. So that's one of the hooks that I use. The second hook that I use the Gamatsu Octopus hook, and this is a uh, size one, and I don't necessarily target small catfish, but I've noticed that there's certain areas that I'll go fishing and the only thing that's really biting is a smaller catfish. And I can tell this because the hook that I normally use is a little bit bigger than that and they're not really taking the bait. I'm getting a lot of nibbles. So what I do is I re-rig, I put on the smaller hook and I throw it out and next thing you know I'm catching catfish. They may be smaller but I'm catching them whereas before I was just getting bites and not catching anything. So that's part of the reason for the variety. Coming up to the hook that I like to start out using and uh, as always it always depends on where you're fishing how big the fish are in the area that you're fishing. The hook that I use is the Gamatsu the Gamatsu octopus hook, and this is a four rod. The four rod for me, it's it's just right. It's a perfect size for the the shrimp that I use, or for the chum bait that I make, or uh, even a nice chunk of uh, fresh cut bait. So that to me is a, a nice little uh, multi-use hook that I use when I'm out there fishing. If you want to use a circle hook, I do use circle hooks quite often. Um, more so on my trot lines or on my on my yo-yos. Uh, the reason for that is because of the action of, of the of the hook in comparison to these these other hooks. I'm more of a I'm more of a fisherman who likes to set the hook. That's why I use these these uh, octopus hooks because I you set that hook and and then uh, the fight's on. Whereas circle hooks, you let the fish run and you you uh, 
crank the line and reel them in and the hook is self setting. I buy these Eagle Claw, they're called Circle C hooks and I keep a couple of sizes on hand, um, probably like a 5 or a 6 and these are 7's. So these are the ones that I'll be putting on my trot lines or on my yo-yos and like I said the reason for that is those are so, somewhat what you what I call self-setting it's when the fish takes it into its mouth and as it's leaving it it comes around the corner of the mouth and it'll hook them right in the corner of the mouth so that's ideal for leaving the line out that you can't set a hook on that size hook is great for live bait uh, you know bluegill depends on of course the size of fish in your area uh, these hooks I have no problem putting them on a trot line and pulling out 30 40 pound flatheads um, and it's always live bait or a big nice chunk of cut bait that pulls in the bigger fish so moving on to the the last hook that I have in my tackle box and some of you guys may think that this is a little in excess I guess is uh, this big circle hook right here and uh, this is a 15 knot circle hook and I picked these up actually because uh, the sportsman's warehouse here in Las Cruces went out of business and these things were I think like 70% off so I grabbed about it whatever they had on the shelf but um, I mainly save these hooks for for lake fishing um, I always say the bigger the bait the bigger the fish and I mean you're gonna talk to a lot of cat fishermen who who will agree I, I've seen I've seen fishermen you know put big chunks of bait on their hook and what are they catching? They're catching 80, 90, 100 pound catfish and it's I think it's all in perspective if, if you put a, a little tiny piece of bait on there and you know a 100 pound catfish swims by it he's probably not going to be likely to to eat it. You know? One thing I want to tell you guys about the hooks that I use is I always make sure that they're offset um, and what I mean by offset is that the is that the hook doesn't line up with the shank part of the of the hook because I they ha they sell them in both ways and uh, I believe that if it's perfectly lined up you have that slight chance that the fish could have it just right and it slides right out of his mouth whereas if you have it with an offset you don't have that chance so you can buy your hooks with an offset and depending on the hook and how it's made if it doesn't have the offset you could take a pair of pliers and just give it a slight bend I think the angle that they put on it's probably something like a six degree angle but I mean you don't have to get that technical just give it a little bend and eyeball it so that you can see kind of like the picture that it doesn't line up with the with the shank of the hook you guys have asked uh, what hooks I use so here's here's all the hooks that I use that I keep in my tackle box so uh, I hope this video answers some of your questions about hooks and as always thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time